This will be tutorial 17 of our Spring Boot Beginner to Expert tutorial and today we are going to be writing the delete methods of our API. We are going to write these methods to delete an item from the API or from the list of items in the API. And also previously we have written an item to insert, an, insert a record, to update a record and also to, to get a record from the system. But now we are going to write a method to delete an item. This is going to be very easy. I would like to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the right button below this video. If you subscribe, you kind of make it easy for me or motivate me to continue to make these lessons for you. And also, uh, you get notified when I make new lessons. This procedure here is provided step by step, step by step, with no step skips. In fact, this is what the procedure I'm following as I'm making uh, this tutorial. So you can follow the instruction. If you miss out something, all the steps are here and all the code snippets you need, they are all here. So let's start with the first one, write the delete location method. So let's write a location, a method to delete a location object from the API. So let's start with, let's go into the controller. So this is our controller file and we want to write a delete method. Let me make, uh, make some space. So to write the delete method is similar to the get by ID. So you need to pass in the ID of the item you want to delete and then you simply delete it. So it means that the return type is going to be void. So public void uh, delete location. And now the ID of the location is a string for sure, string ID. And this ID is going to be coming from the path variable. So it means that we are going to add the add path variable annotation. So path variable is, the, is what you attach to the URL, for instance, slash location slash ID. All right. So I'm going to start this. So I'm going to simply say location service dot delete location. And I give it the ID of the location to delete, all right? So now we are going to modify the request mapping. The request mapping uh, will be similar to this one. So I'm going to just take this, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it. So, <clears throat> so if I'm going to, let me shift this a little bit backwards. Um, then, so you can see that request method here is put, right? Good. So the next thing we want to do is to now go to the location service and create the delete location uh, method from the look in the location service. So you can see I've created it. Let me make some room here. So what we are going to do now is we simply say locations dot remove dots remove if so we are going to remove the location l okay uh, where the location uh, the id of this location is equal to the passing id so l dot get id uh, is equal to that equals the uh, so i don't know why this is equals the passing ID. So what, what we are doing here is we are deleting, uh, so why are we having this error message? Okay, where the location is, uh, the ID of the location is equal to the ID that is passing and then we are going to remove it. So I'm going to save everything. So basically we've completed writing delete method for locations. So in case of the the next one is the write delete method uh, for the user. I'm simply going to copy and paste because I've already explained it to you. So go to user controller and then we are going to paste it uh, the last item here as a delete. So we have delete user and then I'm going to copy this one and paste it in the uh, user service as well. So going to go all the way to the end of the line
So I think okay, so it's going to be somewhere here. Okay. No, I think it should be somewhere here. Yeah, because this one terminates the whole file so control V. Alright, so we have invalid type public void delete user string ID. So we have an error here, so it says invalid type. So let me check where this problem is coming from. Um, okay, let me just uh, change this to remove this auto hide from. Sorry, let me. So it says public void delete user and it says invalid uh, type. Or variable delete user public void delete user string ID everything should be fine so let's see so this uh, go to this I think I'm missing out something okay I think I need to close this braces okay okay so nice this one is closed all right so maybe so at this point everything should be fine so I'm going to just save it so the next thing I'm going to I'm going to save everything so user service so everything should be okay mm -hmm. so the next one is the post service and post controller so I'm going to copy I'm going to copy the post for the post controller I'm going to just copy it uh, post controller. I'm going to go down all the way to the end. Make some room and paste it, and I'm going to copy. In case of the post service, I'm going to copy it as well and paste inside the post service. All right. So I guess it should be somewhere uh, here. Control V. Perfect, so everything is fine, so I'm going to click on save, seems there is an error here or something, uh, okay, so I think this might just be belong to this place, right. I'm going to save everything, okay, it says there is an error, public void, delete user string ID, so why do we have this error here? So let's try to troubleshoot. Let me collapse all this. Collapse. 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 Uh, let me collapse this as well. So. So let me expand. Let me collapse this. All right. So. Okay. So. Now, what do we have? So we have this. For this, we have this for. This. I'm going to put the last one. Okay. All right. So I think everything should be fine. So I'm going to save. And finally, for the last one. So just okay. So remove. Okay. So let's just uh, run it because I think everything should be fine by now. I'm going to just go here and say launch. Okay, it says errors. No, I don't want to proceed with errors. So let's let's find out where this problem is coming from. So I'm going to just maximize this window and I'm going to collapse this one as well. Okay, so you can see where the problem is coming from. So we are just going to take out one of these we are going to save everything and this time if I launch it everything works fine we are now going to go back to this and I'm going to delete an item so let's see now I'm going to start with okay because it's still put is coming up so let's do it again mm -hmm. let's see okay so I stop it 
because it's not running. So let's right click here and just say run as Spring Boot application. Let's see how it goes. Hmm, okay. So we are having error message in this place. So in the location controller, I uh, detecting an error. So let's go to location controller. Okay, so you have delete location, delete location here. So let's see, copy. So location service, delete location. Maybe. So everything should be fine. So I'm going to run it again. So run as Spring Boot application. It's already a location controller bean method. Okay, I'm going to stop here and in the next tutorial we solve this problem once and for all. So I would like to thank you for viewing.